Hello everyone, this is Professor Lactobacilli Willie here coming at you with another education. Everything we do here, if you haven't learned by now, is really rooted in science and anatomy. We love that and the physiology of how things work. I'm going to talk about that all day long. Um, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about skin anatomy and why the products you're using, what products, and how we can help you here um, at the office with some of the aesthetic services and corrective services that we use. When we talk about skin anatomy, I have this little drawing here and I wanted to just talk to you for a minute about that. Um, um, when we talk about that, in this epidermal region here, this is what people see. This is where people want immediate results. That epidermal layer is actually about four layers thick in the skin, thin skin region, and thin skin is everywhere other than the palms of the hand and soles of the feet. And those locations is where the dead skin cells actually build up. That is where keratin sites are made. That's is where melanin is made and pushed up to the surface, which causes pigmentation issues, which will be another video for us to discuss on hyperpigmentation. So we want to use products that are going to penetrate through the epidermal region into the dermal region, which is where collagen and hyaluronic acid, which is your moisture content of the skin, actually live and work. We have peels that work superficially, chemical or chemo exfoliation peels that work there that can start to slough off the dead or keratin sites that have moved to the surface and died. We also have medium depth peels that work in the epidermal dermal junction region in this very thick layer of cells there. Then we also have deep peels that are actually going to work down into the dermis. If you're wanting changes with the skin, we have to put in some work. We have to put in some time and work in those locations. We can talk to you about the specific acids that will penetrate the epidermal layer, the glycolipid layer, and then and we will also be talking in another video about the acid mantle layer and pH and why that is so important. But I wanted to just let you know that there are peels that work in all different locations. And then once we start to remove the keratin sites or the dead skin cells on the top epidermal layers of the skin, then the products that we use and talk about here actually are allowed to penetrate down into the dermal region that we can actually start stimulating collagen production and putting a moisture content back into the skin to give that youthful appearance, decrease fine lines and wrinkles, and decrease pore size appearance. Okay, I'll be coming at you again with another video soon.